everybody it is officially mid year guys yani tumeshafika june sixth month of the year it's halfway it's the beginning of a month wishing you blessings or good vibes may this new chapter of your life you know you're blessed and all of that like good things good tidings tidings positive vibes to you welcome to the show we have an amazing show lined up for you let us know where you're watching us from 2299 is our free sms line i am wikali mary karibu nisana Mm -hmm. To my fellow Kenyans, happy Madaraka Day, the 57th one. I hope you're enjoying it and making good use of this day as it is the 57th, okay? Anyway, guys, I do hope you're fantastic and you had an amazing weekend like moi. And also, guys, do remember, cover bado to download our Switch TV app, Kimbia Pale Kwenye Google Play. Get to download it and get to watch all your favorite shows on Switch TV. And we are on DSTV channel 268, Kwenye Aza Motuetu wa Tanzania, channel 338, na Kwenye Zuku channel 53. Keep it locked, it's about to get hot, cool. Meiva leo. Yeah, ni mebabia rangi ya bendera. <laughs> It's Coach Tracy, yo. <laughs> Hi, guys. How y'all doing? Ooh. I've actually missed you so much. I'm so happy to be back because I literally had nothing to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys are good. Thank you so much for joining us this Monday evening. Please do let us know where you are watching us from. We do love to hear from you. Um, our social media handles are Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter and Switch TV KE on Instagram. I am a girl. Joyce Maina. Yay. Like any Joyce. Yes. You are rapping Deras. Hey. Oh, let let me tell you. You, you are sending videos you are like de ukona de rangapi lakini. Like Mingi sana I have one for every day of the week. <laughs> every day because uh, what else are you supposed to wear when you're in the house? Vera. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. who am I dressing what? up for, you know? It was, it was really know? cool to yeah. see the element as well. Let's miss my vango ya nini? Yeah. Bendera. Yeah, but they are green. Yeah, because I am a represent. Green, green. When you nana na se banga. Green, green. Eh, I am green. Yeah, green. Yeah. Some people are wearing white, red, black. Eh, we get red. Eh, but ni saw too. I think. <laughs> You can leave the traditions that happens in my coordinates. But when you after party, when you are white, you are the after party. I'm trying to imagine now if things were like before Corona when you were going to be out. I love bash, 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 For yeah. holidays, as Imagine. in you don't have to you go don't have anywhere. To you don't have to. Guy. You don't But have funny to. enough, places were full this weekend. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I remember I went to the supermarket. I went to mm -hmm. Galeria. The supermarket was full. I panga the line for like half an hour. Eighteen twenty-four. Magari zilikuwa zimerudi zimepaka po inje. Hadi inje. Eh. What? So I'm like, I think the <laughs> places have started opening slowly, slowly. Guys are like, let's go. I yeah, because I think I got a call on Saturday yeah. as well. Friends of mine were at. Some club on Mombasa was like, yo, what's up? Nico, eh, coronavirus. <laughs> Not <laughs> happening. <laughs> eh, eh. Yeah. Yeah. Mimi mutahi mm. hakuniambia. <laughs> When they inject. Uh, um. Mimi nile kiko situ na ngoja. I can get it. it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Watu wa 6 tuko hapa tunangoja tu tuambiwe you know. curfew ehe si tunataka eh tunataka ya usiku ya mchana mm -mm. ah hizi mchana ziwezi tunachemka <laughs> hataki tunataka curfew ishe ya usiku but you guys manze just make sure you guys are keeping safe sanitizing keeping the one meter distance hata kama uko huko nje manze ukito uchocheke as in just do what is necessary sawa usisahau like covid 19 manze ni kitu serious eh yeah. 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 also yeah. to other stories man we tell you what is happening what's popping what's trending so right about now pop spot Aha uh -huh. Joyce mimi ndio niko na story kwanza ya leo so um corona hasn't stopped the wedding bells from ringing because um Annalisa and her long time fiance i feel like they've been engaged for so long finally got married this past weekend in a private ceremony in Tanzania and it was so hush hush that it was the baker who made their cake which was absolutely gorgeous by the way who mistakenly um uh, showed to social media that the wedding was happening and shortly after that Uh, small other uh, videos and pictures you know started like emerging on the internet that showed um Annalisa in a beautiful emerald um, mermaid dress and uh, 
Ben Paul was wearing um, a tuxedo and I looked so in love and everything looked like extravagant and lavish, you know. I mean, what other way does an heiress do her wedding? So congratulations to the two. Na kwambia, lockdown ili mpata uko lakini. See, we cannot cross this border. See, the the barrier was during the, uh -huh. the lockdown, yeah. during the curfew and everything. So there's was a way people are living. For kuna them. watu, eh, kuna unaeza tisa. Amani levels, uh, levels to these things. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, kuna kuangana permit ya nini for barriers. Yes. You can come into the wherever you, you're going to mm -hmm. bury a loved one okay. and then go back to where you're from, I guess. But I'm like, oh, okay. finally, finally, she's, you know, she's met a person. Yeah. Nya kila mtu kwa ngana mtu wake tu kuibi inje. So koko na mashura usi white tense. <laughs> Your pins <laughs> coming. They look so good together. I know, right? Look at that cake. cake. As in, oh, you can wonder. imagine make a wedding yako chini ya maji. Imagine. And then the person who made your cake. Ndiyo na wasiach. Na na hashtag hapo majina. Baki na baki tu enyewe kuna arusi. Imagine. Eh. It's beautiful. I remember when she got engaged, uh, people were asking how long is this engagement going to yeah. last for? And it was like one year perhaps. And when you look back, it's actually it's almost exactly just a year, year yeah. since they, they got engaged. So congratulations, What's what DNA. What's like intimate weddings? Ah, me, 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 I, I know. Me, what me, I mean, people are very, as me, me, not team intimate yeah. team. Hey, but congratulations. Kind of congratulations. Yeah. yeah. That was beautiful. COVID-19 has decided, not stopped reggae. It has <laughs> not stopped. Uh, imagine. Yeah. I think, you know, there's something about, there's something about um, death or like losing a loved one that makes you realize, man, there's no time like the present. Yeah. So I think they finally, I don't know if it was in the plans for them to have this wedding now, mm -hmm. but I think maybe after like the loss of her sister, she was like, you know what? There's no time like the present. Let's just do it. Yeah. There's something about death that makes you realize how short life actually is. Yes. But I thought yeah. here in Kenya they said um, they have postponed the office. I don't know. It's what for marriages? That, that's they a certificate. Ah, yeah. Maybe that's your man abasi me fanyika kule. Siko sure. Mm. Hey. Apa, we are speculating. We are waiting for them <laughs> to tell us. <laughs> but Edgar Obare. Big, big up, up man. Yeah. <laughs> big up. Asanti kwa yo chai. Yeah. And I tango his teeness. His yeah. teeness. Oh. <laughs> Okay. His penis. His penis. Yeah. Penis. Oh, I was there checking for the videos. I was like, dang, dang, dang. I want to see like the wedding. I'm going to Annalisa's page. I'm going to Ben Paul's page. I'm going to Ben Paul's page. I'm going to Ben Paul's page. But today, I'm like, I want to post. I want to post. I want to post. And I want stories. I'm like, hey, oh, I'm only seeing a cake. But anywho, to na Tachiki. Yeah, so we will, we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. Yeah. Now on to another story that is making headlines globally, and it's not a happy one. It's the George Floyd story. It's still, um, we're still getting new updates as it continues. We've seen they're saying America is burning, and people from different states have come out to just riot and you know just sensitize on how blacks have been, uh, black Americans have been losing their lives in the hands of policemen and it's been crazy. There's been a lot of things happening and to even see white people on the streets and great gestures like from the Miami police that when the, um, the, um, the rioters came to them they actually went down on Werni to just be like, you know what, we are sorry. We apologize on behalf of all cops. And we've seen so many of those things happen. But now, Kenyans, my friend, mm. Kenyans Niwale was saying, <laughs> and wherever they are, they represent. Remember that chant that used to happen during those teacher, t teacher protests protest mm -hmm. and Daktari protests in Kenya? Eli Pelekwa Maju. Hakietu is international, my people. Yeah. I think, do we have a video? Do we? Yes, let's take a look. We can say it in Fahili. We say Hakiyatu! 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 By the way, that's true. <laughs> and I actually saw that video and it came out and um uh, I can't remember which state. I think maybe it was still Minneapolis. Yeah. And I think that guy was Somali or something. I remember there's a guy who was on the speaker. Eh, 
who was saying, yo, I just want to shout out like the, the Somali community. We haven't treated you well in this country, but you guys have like stood with us and like we appreciate you. And then he oh, went on wow. to say, there's no there's no one who can throw a stone like a Somali. I'm like, it's a Kenyan thing. Okay, it throwing is, stones is a is, Kenyan is, thing. Give credit where due. Yeah, give credit where due. This situation has just brought, like, you know, it's something that has always been there. You know, mm. blacks feeling they're so oppressed and all that. Mm. But they have to nearly a point. Yani, this one is not a just ya kusema. Tunaona si wenye we've seen yeah. it mm. and uh, it's so sad because okay the other side of it i was looking at the videos you know guys the, the guys were looting and yeah. you know just destroying people's you know businesses and all that and yeah. stealing stuff mm. and it's so sad that you're still mm. you're not just breaking into the w white people's biasharas but you're also breaking into black, black guys yeah. Yeah. biasharas yeah. so yeah. i find as much as it's, as it's something you guys are trying to you know fight fight again okay fight for ni fight for fighting for your freedom as a black person mm. you're still destroying other people's means you know yeah I mean, as in yeah. of I mean, getting yeah. like their basic Baby needs bread, and all yeah. that it's so sad yeah but it anyway is. but also at the same time i think it's going to, to a point i've been seeing a lot of these speeches about um tupac and uh, malcolm mm. x and all they were saying is like how long are we going to ask you to treat us like human beings like we're tired like yeah. we can't be like please 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 that's why i'm not advocating for the rights but i understand they're frustrated yeah. they're like we have asked you for years mm -hmm. okay you guys came with these civil rights it was just you know it was just in the title where are the civil rights mm -hmm. if i'm still yeah. being treated mm -hmm. the same way yeah. we were being treated when we were slaves you know yeah. like i think it's gotten <laughs> to a point where they're so tired it's like a child think of when a child has a tantrum there's a reason why they're having that tantrum yeah. what are you going to do are you going to be the child no sit the child down and be like i cool what have you been trying to say Exactly. You know? And you know, the hashtag that was also like uh, all over the place during the same time was hashtag it's uh, America's end of an era, you know, mm. and it has come about time. Like things have changed. Even yeah. white people are joining the mm. black people just be like, this is wrong. Yeah. It shouldn't be done. And the wife of the police officer, mm -hmm. this lady is actually a model in Minneapolis. Wow. Divorced the guy the same day that he was charged Whoa. with murder. This is the, well, uh, so to you, as yeah, that one the, should yeah, be like, but, yes, that know? was a divorce deserved. Yeah. yeah, he was he got arrested, he got hey. a divorce, he was charged with murder. murder although he should have yeah. been first degree murder, not third degree, not yes. third degree, but yes, either way, like, but it's okay, yeah. either way. He's and you guys are uh, forgetting our own. Aleki. Aleki. Hey. Aleki. Aleki. Hey. <laughs> hey. Out to you, man. Now you are trending. Hey. Like, literally. Way. I'm really hey. trying to understand what made him trend like that. Is it that there was someone else who was, like, also, like, trying to, like, threaten the White no, House? No, they traced back. Oh, he was banned by someone. Yeah. Yes, oh. because he, let's, uh, let's ban the White House. Yeah, ban it down. <laughs> those, I feel like it's those two. Stupid comments. Yes. Yeah, you know, just you know, can't go and but think it. <laughs> hey, you know, but thinking. Because I was saying, guys, saying that you order, I'm a part of you come and sit down. I'm like, hey, I think I'm here. Blacklist. The blacklist. Hey, them men yeah, yeah. coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was so else. crazy though yeah. as yeah. It, i don't know but is it true like was he like you know um, in itangwaje this thing the way they call you uh, to, to go and to present it, yourself i don't think so acha ka kuna cid na leo to black side kenya look at aleki i love you kuna slave queen alikuja akasema girlfriend girlfriend yeah I have Aliki's baby. Yeah, I saw. I think I saw the picture. Was it on what? the picture? What? I did. Yes, and it's I like, did. Yeah, no. And she's, she's a fine girl. Yeah, she's a fine girl. And there's somebody babe. with your baby out here. It's crazy. Yeah. More than somebody. But anyway. Okay, moving uh -huh. on. So Respect yourself. <laughs> Madam. Let me take shame. you guys to the next story. Joyce Akendeleaku. <clears throat> And I try to synthesize <laughs> as in yes. I lay I But let me take it. you guys to another beautiful story. So Jacqueline Bulpa, whom we all know as um, the ex to harmonize, the Tanzanian bongo star, uh, she's finally engaged. And it's being, okay, it's alleged that she's engaged to a certain Kenyan man by the name Chidi, who's a designer, I think. And he went down on one knee in her office. Uh, hey, come on, will you marry me? So she's off the market. Officially. Yeah. Like in a The way they speak, oh, because they okay. don't speak like you, me or Kush. <laughs> no. Yeah. Mimi kwanza ni kami ni mrude. Because in a kwanza tu. Ajameni. Kanchumbia. Kafanyango. I will joke. We can't, we can't. That's the highest your voice has ever gone in your life. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, I was, so I was watching her video. Mm -hmm. 
It's like hey, Yui. Ah ah. <laughs> and akwambia story mdogo mdogo. Pole pole. To, I love the way that the gentleman was coming to propose. Yeah. So it's just like ah, you don't even look the man in the eye. Like you know proper girl. Oh, blush, so gali gali. Soften your voice kind of thing. Like all this when my sepe to speaks the same. Yeah. It's like ah, Ini tangu na public yeah. proposal na uko yeah. serious. Aya uko serious. Like, yeah. 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 For real. Cuz <laughs> I was hearing I don't know I was I think reading on a certain blog something. Yeah. They attached it to the story and they were like she she gave out a number mm. and told guys to send in their CVs. When she she, she was like I want a man. Mm. So there's this number Are you can you send serious? in your CVs. So I'm like I don't know whether it's recent a man story ya kitambo. Haya. But hey, go it was taken she's off the market. It My worked. god, so that's all it takes. I keep telling ladies 2020. Well, I got CV yako tunapeleka Nigeria CC. I mean that you mean that wambia wanitumie. I'll I'll just pick a few like a certain area codes. And that's Listen, them. Okay. 2020 is the year to shoot your short ladies. Yeah. Shoot your shot. If you want to slide in his DM, slide in his DM. If very you want fast. to give out your number, you get CVs. Send that number. Okay, mm-hmm. there are very many success stories. I mean, there's nothing else that's <laughs> happening in the world. We've been shut down. Maybe everyone is at home. People you might as well. Time to might check as well. Their DMs <laughs> respond to you. Angalia <laughs> qualifications. Adjust the CV and send it back. Better you never know. Muruzwa ko anaza kwa tu mali amechill. Ana kungoja. Eh, ana ngoja yo DM. Slide, <laughs> fall, glide, swim. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. Kush, we, we get it, we get it, we get it. Wow. Now let me take you guys um to Uganda. We all know the singer um Juliana gave birth to a uh, baby boy about maybe um two weeks ago, and of course guys were happy for her because you know she lost her son a few years ago, and guys were happy for her and congratulating her and you know all the good stuff. But of course, kuna wale watu wako na udaku yeah they are really curious to find out who the baby daddy is and there have been rumors flying that apparently um Seven's son is the baby daddy and allegedly he did reach out to Juliana to get a DNA test and there was even an article written and uh, put out by um I guess one of their publications in Uganda and she went on to her Instagram and put a big fake across that story and said this is a hoax treat it with the contempt that it deserves thank you and that's all she had to say about it alas so seem to I'm 70 Yani I'm like mtu tu hizi jifungua. Aki bila maswali mingi. I know bila yenye ku ask kufikir ku try kujijazia budani. Yeah, I mean it's one thing to be curious. Even me I'll be like, "Oh, I wonder who the dad is." But for you to go and start making up stories. I know. Yeah, please and even publishing them. And even publishing them. Like what? Hakuna ngata an inkling of why am I lying to the world? Why? They are just like that. Like you know that you know the other thing. Yeah. You do a fake story mm. so that this person mm. tells the real story. Oh, ah. you get. Manze tunawacheki. Ah, kusu me vai game. Ah, na eh. Apo. Maybe that's what they were trying to do. But that oh maybe my yeah. God. But like if she wants to keep it private there's nothing that's going to make her say it yeah. until she's ready she's to say ready it. Because did say she say anything? No, she just said no. this story is fake. Thank you. Na kafunga hiyo chapter. And she's not going to be totally. Come and see where. Come and see what your bills. If it is not you it is not your bills. What happened to us celebrating that she's gotten a baby? We were all about that uh, vibe. Yeah. What happened? Uh, Anywho, talking about what happened in between webs of lies, Kylie Jenner has been caught in one of her own. We had this discussion I think a while back with Joyce in the makeup room and uh, well, the, <clears throat> Kylie Jenner in 2018, she was ranked number 27 as the richest self-made woman. And Joyce was like she's not self-made. I was like no, no she is self-made. It's like no she's not self-made. But anyway, so <clears throat> she sold her cosmetics company in one of the biggest celeb cash outs ever. 50 51% of her company was sold off and it was sold for wait for it 2.1 billion dollars. It was a huge chunk of money. And this of course ended up making her even more richer she got into the billionaire status as a celebrity now few months in after selling the property to this other company it's called Coty 
Koti Basi, they did their research only to find out that apparently there were many lies in between. There were omissions, there were some outright fabrications, the tax returns were likely highly likely to have been forged to show that they were making so much more because six months in after covid hit uh, this gentleman found out that the company was not making as much money and the profits that were allegedly made out of the last couple of careers was a lie Whoa. so it wasn't as big as it was made out to look like told to show themselves made wali chocha Wali chocha numbers. Wali yaka chumvi na pepa na all the ingredients. Sugar, spice, I mean, everything nice. I mean, how, how long did she think she was going to get away? Okay. And you know what, let me not even put this on Kylie. There are people behind this. Her, she's just the face. Mm -hmm. Like, no offense. She's just the face and she made the company make money. Mm -hmm. So whoever who fabricated and cooked all of these things, mm -hmm. they actually thought they would get away with it. You see, the thing yeah. is, when you read on the article, mm -hmm. When the uh, reports came out at a certain point, they were not as good as the mother wanted. And uh -huh. called out the PR to be like, what is this? Mm -hmm. I need this to be. So when Forbes uh, refused certain numbers, mm -hmm. they sent the same numbers they were trying to push to another publication. So that, those are the numbers that I remembered. Hey. So it's 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 huge. I apparently she's no longer a billionaire, but and it's you... all Chris Jenner's fault. I <laughs> Somebody had to say it. Somebody had to it's say it. We are moving on, but you can let us know two two triple nine is our free SMS line. Moving on to last four right about now.